register and vote a candidate of your choice in 2023. Forget religion, forget ethnicity, forget where he comes from. Look at the measure of the man and see what you can, what you can, uh, the right person to vote. Yeah, if he gives you money, pocket it. It's not his money, it's your money. Take your money, but do the right thing. I hope Nigerians have learned their lesson. Because we have elected from the states to the federal government people that have not performed. Whatever criteria we use then, if it was he's from my state, if he's from my religion, it has failed. We did not look at competence, we did not look at the measure of the man, what can he do for this, for this country or this state. And I hope we've learned our lesson, number one. Number two, and I see the same old politicians that have put this nation in a ditch. They are the ones coming to say, oh, we've done our eight, we'll hand you over to this other guy. As if, we, the people that brought them in, don't have a say. We are their employers. We brought them in. And we have, we as citizens have more powers than we think. That our PVC is our power. We choose whoever we think will do the right thing. We'll correct the mistakes of the current leaderships all across. So, choose wisely. 2023 is an election that is more important than 2015 or 2019 because the leader that is going to fix this country will be a leader who is healthy, a strong leader, a leader who has vision, right? To do the right thing. A leader who will not give us excuses. Especially the youth, I'm calling you, this country is in your hands. All this trouble we're making is for you. You can change this nation. Nations are built by youth, not the aged. Admittedly, Nigeria has not done well for its youth. My call to Nigerian youth is for you to give up and say, I'm not going to vote again is the worst mistake you can make. Do not despair. This country is your country. Only well, you can rebuild it back. Go and register and vote a candidate of your choice in 2023. Forget religion, forget ethnicity, forget where he comes from. Look at the measure of the man and see what you can, what you can, uh, the right person to vote. Yeah, if he gives you money, pocket it. It's not his money, it's your money. Take your money, but do the right thing. Because don't sell your conscience. They will get into the offices and never visit you again. 2023 is very, very important. Choose a candidate of your choice, a person who will do the right thing for you. The youth, you build nations. Rebuild Nigeria. All those leaders. President Muhammad Buhari was in his 20s when he put on the, put on the uniform of the country and fought. IBB, Obasanjo, T.Y. Danjuma, Akin Renade, they were young men. They put on the uniform of this country on stitches. General Gowan retired, was 31, going to 32 when he became the president, the, the, the head of state. Alfred Diati Spith, the first military governor of River State, was just 27. General Murtala Mohammed retired when he was assassinated, he was 38. These were young men, the prime of their lives. They held this country together and they did us proud. General Gowan shepherded this country through a war, a reconstruction, a rehabilitation. But here we are now, Nigerian youth at 30 years still in voice quarters doing TikTok, waiting for the 78 year old president to leave. You can change that. Your power is in your number. 
you can change that. Your PVC. All presidents in this country and anywhere in the world are brought by youth. Use this power to bring the right leadership. But Nigeria needs a very strong, a very healthy a le leader that has vision. Not a person that says, oh, it's been rotated to my side, so I'm coming. Rotation is unconstitutional. We're not going to rotate the presidency to anybody. You're not going to be president just because you're Fulani, you're Yoruba, or you're Igbo. No, perish that thought. We will make sure we fight that. We'll get the right president for the time that is coming. This is going to be a very, very difficult time. Nigeria has never been more divided than it is. We have never seen this much insecurity in the whole of the country, even during the war. There's so much poverty. The leadership is disconnected from the people. There's so much unemployment. And there's so much anger and hunger in the land. We need a leader that will be engaged. We need leaders that will be engaged all across this country with the people. That cares and knows about the people. That knows what is the price of Gary in the market today. That knows how much rice costs. That knows how much maize and guinea corn costs in the market. That visits the people and listens to them and hears them. That when there is a killing, when there is a massacre, he visits them. Not just send somebody or or your press man read statement. A leader that has empathy, a leader that cares. That's the person we care for. Not the leader that will come and be spreading money, thinking his votes will, his money will buy votes. We are wiser. This time around, we are angrier. We will choose the best for Nigeria. Nigeria has a lot of promise. I mean, all over the world, all over the world. And I'm back home because I see the promise in this land. We can rebuild this country and sure we will. Now is the time.